It's a pleasure having you back, my friends, here on Will Edutech. And in this video, we're going to be looking at the at the solution for question 5a, usually found under the general topic of algebra. But to be more specific, this is a functions uh, question where we'll be drawing a quadratic graph or a quadratic curve. All right. Now, this question was taken from the CSEC math exam pass paper, and that was in January 2012, section one. Now, let's get into the question quickly. The table below shows corresponding values of x and y. For the function y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 3 for integer values of x from negative 2 to positive 4. Now, simply, integers, integer means uh, both negative and positive whole numbers. And as you can look in the x row here, you would see, see uh, in the x row here, you would see all the values of x are integers from negative 2, then negative 1, then 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And if you notice, this is the same range that it gave us. Now, the x value represents the domain of the graph and what do I mean by that how why the graph is going to spread so after I've drawn the curve I'll come back to this to show you the relationship okay guys it's nothing technical no all right it's pretty easy so quickly let's just get into it here we have our function and they're asking us in in part a to copy and complete the table and that's an easy two marks no uh, in the exam if you on the question sheet they'll give you this this table however you shouldn't fill it out on the exam sheet okay you should always ask for the answer sheet if you don't see it all right so now let's show you how you complete this table whenever you're asked to draw a graph it doesn't ma matter what type of graph any graph to to find corresponding y values for x values or vice versa, all right, what you're simply going to do, you're going to take the function. Here they gave us the function here, y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 3. So I'm going to take that function, my friends. All right, so let's just put it here. y is equal to x squared x squared minus 2x minus 3. So simply all I'm going to do, since they ask us to find the corresponding y value when x is negative 1, I am going to simply replace x in the function and I'm going to replace it with negative 1. Everywhere I see x, I'm going to just replace it with negative 1. So here I have a x and it, the x is being squared. So I am going to replace the x and I'm going to put negative 1. And then I'm going to square it because the x was squared. Then I'm going to say minus 2 because I have a negative 2 there multiplying x. So x is negative 1. So I'm just going to replace that again. And then I'm putting my minus 3 at the end. So simply all we're doing is just to calculate this now to get the corresponding y value. So I'm saying y is equal to negative negative 1 squared and and remember okay the the, the the two up here tells you how many times the base is multiplying itself. So I could just write negative one square another way by saying this is negative one times negative one. OK, and I'm, sub, I'm saying negative two multiplying a negative one and negative times a negative will give me a positive and two times one will give me two. And I have a minus three out there. OK, my friends. So really what is left here, I'm saying y is equal to negative one times negative one and negative times a negative will give me a positive and one times times one is one. So we have a positive one there. So I'm adding two to that and then I'm subtracting three. Okay. So really what we have left here, my friends, we have a one plus two is equal to three and I have a negative three out there. So really I have y is equal to three minus three, which is zero. All right. And that's our answer, my friends. It's, it's really that easy. All right. So what we're saying here now, guys, is that when x is negative 1, y will be 0. So let's just quickly fill that in. So I have a 0 there as my y value when x is negative 1. Now let's quickly look at the second value that they're asking us to find when x is positive 2. What will be the value of y? So simply, again, it's the same process. Let me just change my color quickly. So let, let's just work it, work it here. I am saying again, to calculate this value, I am going to use my original function that they gave to us, and that is y is equal to x squared. The same function here I'm taking, all right, to calculate all my values, my friends. So I'm saying y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 3. So I'm saying when x is positive 2, so y is equal to positive 2 squared squared minus 2x 
minus 3. Oh, let's, let's just remove the x. Um, sorry about that. Let's just remove that x quickly. Yes, and replace it with a positive 2. All right, times 2 minus 3. So simply, I'm saying here, 2 is multiplying itself 2 times. So this is 2 times 2, not this 2, but this is really saying 2 times 2. Okay, that's what it is saying. I'm writing 2 squared another way because the power tells you how many times the base is multiplying itself. And a negative 2 times a positive 2 will give me a negative 4. And I have a minus 3 there. Okay, my friends. So what this is saying really is y is equal to 2 times 2 will give me a positive 4. And I have a negative 4 there. And minus a 3. Okay, so really let me just quickly pull this up a bit. So what we have here, my friends, is y is equal to, and we know that a positive 4 will cancel out with a negative 4. So what we really have left here is y is equal to negative 3. And that's our answer, okay? That's our answer. So what this is really saying, when x is positive 2, and let, let's just fill that in quickly, when x is positive 2, y will work out to be negative 3, okay? And, and that's pretty much it. So now we have completed our table by finding the corresponding y values all right so in the next video we'll be looking at part b where we'll be drawing our graph on our cartesian plane okay so stay tuned my friends bye bye